hello everyone today i want to show you how to simplify this algebraic expression into the lowest form uh, if we have 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 5 minus 1 we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form so here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem this means that uh, we need to show all of the working on this paper I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to find the value of 6 to the power of 5 uh, and at the last we substitute this value here and we easily get our final answer uh, so now first we find the value of 6 to the power of 5 so in order to find this value uh, you very well know about that the meaning of 6 to the power of 5 is that uh, we multiply 6 with 5 times and you see here 6 times of 6 becomes this 6 times of 6 becomes here 36 this 6 times of 6 is also becomes here 36 and at the last we get here this 6 only and now uh, first we need to multiply these two numbers and here I can give you a smart um, technique in which you can easily multiply any bigger numbers without using the calculator so here first we need to break this value and uh, we write this 36 as 30 plus 6 and here at the last we multiply this number with 6 so now uh, we multiply 36 on both of these values and it will be written as 36 multiplied by 30 plus 36 multiplied by 6. And now we uh, the resulting answer is multiplied with 6. So now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to multiply these two values and you see here this is uh, we can consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number so when we multiply zero times of this number we get zero when we multiply three times of this number you get here three six is 18 we write eight and carry one three three is a nine nine plus one becomes here ten so you get here one thousand and eighty and plus in the same pattern we multiply six times of 36 and we get here six six is a 36 we write six and carry three 6 3s are 18, 18 plus 3 becomes here 21. So now here we need to sum up these two values and it is multiplied by 6. So we move forward and we can add these two values and you see here this is 0 plus 6 equals to 6. This is 8 plus 1 becomes 9 this is 0 plus 2 equals to 2 and this is our 1 so well, here our final step is that we multiply this bigger number with 6 and now here we can multiply these two numbers directly in our mind without using the calculator and you see here 6 times of 6 becomes 36 we write 6 and carry 3 6 uh, 9s are 54 uh, 54 plus 3 becomes 57 we write 7 and carry 5 6 to the 12 12 plus 5 becomes 17 we write 7 and carry 1 6 1 the 6 6 plus 1 becomes here 7 it means that we have 6 to the power of 5 equals to triple 7 and 6 so this is the value of 6 to the power of 5 and now we move backward uh, and we can just copy down our given question statement here this is the our given question statement and when we copy down this statement here it will be written as 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 5 minus 1 and here we put the value of 6 to the power of 5 to the numerator as well as denominator side we write it as triple 7 and 6 divided by triple seven and six minus one and here uh, when we subtract these two values then you see here we get triple seven and six 
is divided by when we subtract these two values you get here triple seven and five okay so now we write our uh, final answer into the mixed fraction form uh, so we write our numerator term as we write this term as triple seven five plus one this is our triple seven six we write it as triple seven five plus one and it is divided by triple seven and five and now here in the next step we divide this fraction and we write it as triple seven five divided by triple seven five plus one divided by triple seven and five so finally we have 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 5 minus 1 equals to here you see that this term is cancelled out by this term and we will get here 1 plus this is 1 divided by triple 7 and 5 so here we need to combine these terms into the mixed fraction form so we write it as 1 whole 1 divided by triple 7 and 5 so this is the our final simplified form of the given question this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos